Hi, this is your girl Sunshine from Ear Hustle 411, and we are live in Bloomington, Illinois. Oh my God, I am so excited about this event we have going on today. This is my girl, my soror, my ace, uh, Felicia Shaw, and she is having her listening party for her project, Am I Enough, or I Am Enough. That's right. I am enough, and you are enough, girl. You got it going on, going on, and I Ear Hustle. Hustle 411 listeners are so excited for you. We are just so happy that you decided to step out on faith and do what you do and spread the word, spread love, spread peace, spread self empowerment to everyone, not just women. You know, we women got it going on, too. All right. Well, we got, but, we got a, more than a few good men, too. Oh, we got more than a few good men. There's some yeah. good men around here looking yeah. real nice there, Hustle. We're going to get some shots of that a little bit later, though. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk, Felicia. What inspired you to do this project? What inspired you to want to step out and just share what you know inside with everyone in the world? Well, with I Am Enough... As a life coach, I was actually asked by a group to come in and talk about emotions and how a lot of times emotions, uh, we get caught up in it. And it causes us to do certain things and then later on we say, why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep doing that? And so in doing the research for it, I realized that there's a lot of things that people don't realize that we do out of habit because of those emotions and that we can change some of those things. And my thought is, is that if I can help one individual change, they it'll be a change in them that overflows and it lightens them up and then their family will begin to see it and hopefully they tell that the things that they learn and help their family members to grow their family members are going to go out in those neighborhoods those neighborhoods or those neighbors will go out into their communities and that's how we begin to make a change and a shift there are way too many people hurting and we can all do it so if I can share that and then pass it on to others it's a great thing and it came to me in a dream tell us a little bit about the project so the fun thing about the project that I didn't share before was doing the research I realized that there were things inside of me that I felt I wasn't enough really so because you have those negative that negative self chatter that you've given to yourself or other people may have told you about and you keep a hold of it some things from childhood and as I did the research and I have powerful people around me that said no you you can do this you are strong enough you are wise enough to do that and so the song is actually about my journey and realizing I am enough to do those things I had said no to writing my book the first time I know you done lost all your mind right with that right I made really all kinds of excuses and said no the first time and then which doesn't come off then I got a second opportunity to do the book a second time and then it was became a bestseller because I was like what do I have to say I got a C in English I still like my English teacher but I got a C in English and I thought who would want to hear from me and yet it's helped so many college students and then even with the the project the CD um, with it is to change those behaviors changing your mindset so that you can do greater things exceed your expectations and then we added the song on to the end of it because I want it to get into your subconscious mind just like it's breathing that you don't think about it and that you begin to walk in it and know it I am wise enough in all the things that I do I have the knowledge I'm wise enough to ask the right people and know the right resources to do it. I'm strong enough to get through the mountains that I have to climb in the valleys. Hey, I'm smart enough to learn from those things and take those lessons and we all have that within us and so I'm excited about it. I'm excited about transforming lives. I came with a vision or a mission to help people write their vision and bring it to life. I don't want to see anyone else have a vision that dies. This is what I want to ask. With all the negativity that's going on in the world today, especially with what's going on in Ferguson, mm -hmm. what's going on in Chicago, what's going on in Detroit, which is your hometown. Yes. Yeah, we call it Detroit. 
But what, how do you feel about all of that that's going on? And I'm praying that the project goes viral worldwide, the whole nine to the universe, out to the heavens, because I believe they need something to latch on to to progress with. So how do you feel about all of what's going on in those areas, especially our urban areas with our African-American men, women, and children going through? What would be a word or words we would give to them? My words to them would be that I, I know you get frustrated and you see things continuously happening and you feel like you don't have a voice. And sometimes we take certain actions um, to try to let, to, to get out that frustration. Here we go with emotions or anger or disappointment. But there's things that you can do. Each person is responsible for doing their part in this and making a difference. Can you be the person that talks to young people? Can you be the person that writes to our leadership? Don't sit at home on a couch. Can you be the person that takes some constructive things the right way and bring your neighborhood together and get all of you together to write that letter? It just takes one person. It just takes one person, each person, to do those things. Uh, and I get frustrated about things and things that's happening. But I also feel, well, hey, this is here's something I can do within that. You're, you're, you have so many followers. <laughs> what, 3.9, which um, needs to be congratulated. Somewhere around about that. But I think 3.9. We've hit 3.9. If someone came back and said, hey, here's something I was thinking about that could be a possible solution. Hey, here's some possible things that we can do. Um, we, 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 gosh, I, I want to say that we get dismayed by, sometimes by our law enforcers. Well, what are things that you can do to help them? so that we can better our neighborhoods, our community, our city, our state. Um, each one of us can make a difference. And I ask everybody to do that and pay it forward and help someone else. In closing, what could you tell our Air Hustle 411 listeners that would inspire them to start their own business or even become an entrepreneur or, you know, just something to kind of uplift them and lift their spirits? Because I, we have quite a few listeners out there and I'm sure we have maybe one or two that is going through. What would you tell them to lift themselves up? There's three things I would say to do. And one of those things is to write it down, make it concrete, place it there and see it so that you start moving towards it. Make, make goals towards it a little bit every day. You don't have to do a lot. How about 17 minutes? 17 minutes a day to invest in yourself and into your dream. If you were given something, how dare you keep it to yourself? So that's the first thing. The second thing is to have a circle of support so that what you wrote down, I want you to put it on your refrigerator so people ask you about it. And put it on the bathroom mirror. Those are two places I'm hoping that you see every day or almost every day. Don't give me, me the too. details, right? <laughs> but, um, but having that circle of support because people will see it and ask you about that and say, hey, what is this that you're doing? Even your family members. And they'll hold you accountable for it, too. So get ready for that. And then the third thing is don't let your emotions hold you back from being the person that you were destined to be. You step out on that fear and just say, no, you don't have me. You'll have your feelings, but you don't have me. And step out beyond that and do those things and you will be amazed of the things that will happen and how you will be blessed and that it will overflow. All right now. Well, you heard it here, right here at Ear Hustle 411 with my girl, my ace. I am so proud of her with Felicia Shaw and her project, I Am Enough. And with that being said, you are most definitely the it girl today, girl. I am so proud of you. Well, it's about you today. It's not about me. Oh, yeah. It's about you. Come on, sunshine. <laughs> Ear Hustle 411. We keeping our ears to the streets. Catch you later.